Hello and welcome. It's a good day to be on the farm. My name is Chuck, and this is Somerset Farms, episode 13. And in the last episode, we had just cultivated the new field I bought with our new cultivator, which was much larger than our previous cultivator, and that field was much bigger than, well, pretty much every other field that we have, except for 34. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this tipper here because we're actually going to go and I was about to switch to April and then I realized that we just planted three fields today and they probably need rolling. So let's go ahead and grab our roller here. And we'll fold it up because it's a tight fit. But yeah, so... Our field 36 is pretty big. Our field 40 is just a little bit bigger. That's the one that we just just uh, cultivated, but we're not ready to plant it today and we're expecting some rain. But we have these three little fields, 18, 34, and 33, that need rolling. So we're going to go ahead and try to get that done before the rain hits today. We'll see if we can. But we'll just bang bang boom hit them on the way over so we'll do 18 first right here when we're here and we're going to take our little shortcut back by our hut where we made the grass a little bit low here because I would put an entrance there if I could get rid of these bushes but I can't so I'm just going to come right here and get this bad boy rolling like so and yeah that makes a nice change in texture so we can clearly see where we've been and this will help us get that 100% bonus as you can see I'm not quite going up to the right edge where this is uneven I don't need that um, it's a two and a half percent bonus I believe for rolling and then for also doing something else to the seed bed in the beginning so I don't necessarily need to get all of that done um, but actually we shouldn't have picked that up I'm not too concerned about getting to the exact edge because we'll get as much bonus as we need to by doing it this way And the nice thing is you don't actually even have to pick up the roller. It doesn't hurt anything. So I'm going to get kind of a half on, half off approach this time so that we can try to get all of it when we're down there. And then we'll straighten out on the way back. And hopefully this will get us pretty close to the corner. Again, doesn't have to be exact. If you have bigger fields that are a little bit more square, you can actually just keep, you can do a, an end, a headland, and then you can actually just keep making loops and you don't even have to stop. So we'll, we'll see how that looks. That texture is not happy with the angle I chose there, which is fine. I kind of see this as um, we're just smoothing out the topsoil. But also, I, it reminds me of raking sand, if you've ever done that in like a sand pit on a golf course. Or in a zen garden maybe, if those things are actually real. I've never actually seen a real zen garden. You see pictures of them, you see them in movies. You see those little desktop ones that people have, where they have like a little box of sand and a rake on their desk that they can rake. Um, that's what this reminds me of. Um, but, like I said, uh, it's a pretty quick process. There's not a lot to it. We're just going to go ahead and do one of these and then turn and then come back and get this so we don't miss that corner and then just get going. So I've got two other fields that we're going to do like this as well depending on when the rain starts. And then we will get skipped to April and we'll decide what we want to plant if we want to plant anything on that field 34 just yet. We might want to wait till later in the year because we're going to have 
a heck of a harvest time already with uh, our small harvester in the canola fields we got and then later our small harvester in the sunflower fields that we've got. So I think it's a matter of how much do we really want um, to leave the chance um, of trying to get all that stuff done in a day. And again, when you have one day months like this um, that we're doing and you have all one type of crop like our four, three, three or four sunflower fields that we have um, and we have a small harvester um, number one, we can just struggle to get all that done during the day regardless and number two um, if we get rain on that day uh, you lose your yield, um, you lose like 30 to 40% of your yield if you try to harvest in the rain. Um, and I have had days come up where I've had three big fields of wheat or barley or something like that and it's raining and it's the last day that I can possibly harvest them so I have to just harvest them with that yield deduction for the rain. Um, and nobody wants that. Alright, so this field is done. As you can see, it wasn't pretty. We missed some spots. It's fine. We're just getting as much of the bonus as we can um, on this field here. And then we're going to just actually cut through the bushes because this is our field right here. Now we're not going to drive on that field because that would kill our crops because crop destruction is on. But that way we don't have to drive on this road where everyone is driving like a maniac. And so we'll cut around the corner here. Is that planted? It just looks a different color. It's weird. I thought there was enough room to get by hugging the bushes here. I am looking forward to harvesting this canola though. It, this is kind of the first really big field that we worked. Obviously 15 was the field we started the series on. That one will be fun too, but 34 is going to be a big harvest, so I'm going to be excited to get that done. Down here we have our planter, our spare seed bags, our lime, and our fertilizing tractor there. So same basic premise down here. We're just going to go ahead and get these rolled. And you can just see from that what eight or nine row planter we have down to this it just obviously changes the texture but we're just going to get it to be a little bit smoother and a little bit um, just kind of packing those seeds in making sure that they're going to germinate for us so I don't know rolling is is uh, something I haven't done a ton of um, but I understand why they put it in and most of the time I don't bother just because it's only a couple of percentage bonus like it's I can get to 95% pretty easily it's getting that last 5% is hard because um, you have to go over the field two more times um, one to make a seed bed and then two to roll it once you've got the seeds planted so I think this will get us to like 97 or 98% um, if it even calculates like that of precision farming which I don't think it does um, or you know, closer to that 100%. But since we have a roller that they gave us and the equipment that we had, and we did actually roll field 15, or we had Fred roll it for us um, when we were hiring him to try to figure out that field because we were doing like three things at once on that one. Um, thought it might as well. And since we did have some daylight left and the rain hadn't started, I was really thinking we were gonna get rained out today um, thought it might be a good idea to go ahead and just get this done. So that's how we got here. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just interested to see, let me see if I can check this while we're running this row, what kind of crop we want to plant. So we're in March. Um, sunflowers are good, but we already have three things of sunflowers. Canola, obviously we've got plenty of fields of that. Um, I mean, we could do 
almost anything because we have the harvester for it or we have two different headers for our harvester um, I just don't want to get into a position where um, we've got four giant fields of sunflowers to harvest and we just don't have the daylight to do it um, I think when we get back in there we'll check it again I think sunflowers have a two day harvest period just like all the other crops um, and obviously we've got the equipment to do that and that would help for our oil factory and it would get something in the ground quicker so I mean it seems like the obvious choice but I'm just a little nervous about what that might look like um, <laughs> when we get to whatever month we harvest sunflowers in so yeah we'll get a a row going here and we'll take a look again so sunflowers uh, we can plant them next month too so that's fine and they harvest in October November so yeah we have a two month time frame to plant those so as long as some of ours start popping up in October we should be fine to grab the other ones in November um, that would still feel, feed into the oil factory which is probably what we should do year one you can see that we were hitting the end there at this point, we'll just turn around and go up and back. If we can turn tight enough to do that. And this field looks bigger than it really is because it's got this angle. Um, we're just going to fly through the rest of this now. But yeah, I don't know. Um, obviously we're going to finish the rolling if we can before the rain starts and then we're gonna sleep till April and then we'll decide. And I guess that'll probably be this episode. So I was gonna ask you guys what you thought I should plant, but uh, I don't know that you'll have an opportunity to chime in because this rolling won't take me that long and I do wanna get something in the ground. Um, since we're not doing animals I don't think I want to do wheat or barley because I do those in every series because I'm usually trying to feed chickens and or um, trying to get straw for cows or whatever uh, you know what I, animal I haven't done a whole lot is pigs um, just in general I tend to do a lot of grass care which helps cows and sheep but uh, I don't really do pigs which is because I don't actually do that much crop farming which is exactly what this is um, just a ton of crop farming so interestingly enough this might be the farm to do pigs on if I decided to but the really funny part about that I think is that uh, that starting area that we abandoned in episode one because we didn't want to start where everybody else starts on this map I think that is near the pig enclosure so we've got this swath of fields running across here where we're following the high yield bonuses the you know 108s 109s 114s um, that we're getting on the fields that we have purchased um, but it ran us away from where the pig enclosure was and we're spread out enough it probably wouldn't be that surprising if we ended up getting um, that enclosure back at some point but uh, I'm certainly not ready for pigs now um, again this is my my actual farming one like this is this is the one we're trying precision farming on um, that we're actually giving it the real like we bought these fields in the beginning we bought the soil samples where calculating what we spent we're going to look at the little charts and see our harvest data once we get some harvest done so we're going to really start that with field 15 here this year once we get that first harvest out um, and this is the series that I'm going to really try to focus on precision farming and just seeing you know really what are our costs what kind of yield are we getting what else can we do to improve that yield on these fields so on and so forth um, with the equipment that we have 
um, all of that. So that's a big part of it. Um, so being that this is the precision farming map, um, I'm not ready to jump into livestock again because livestock is what I'm doing on most of the other series that we've done um, in one form or fashion. Um, and uh, precision farming just doesn't work with livestock as well. It's not like it doesn't work, it just it doesn't improve the livestocking part of the game, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it does if you're really growing the crops for everything, so I would think for this one for actually pigs it might because you need to feed them like six different things um, to get their 100% bonus, but uh, um, like precision farming to me is you're, you're trying to get the most out of your sprayers, you're trying to get the most out of your, uh, your variable seed rates, and you're just trying to really see what you can do to get the most out of the fields themselves um, because it actually calculates how much did you spend on fuel how much did you spend on maintenance for your for your equipment and how much did you spend on um, you know seeds and what is your harvest and what is your your yield at and then we're looking at soil types and, and all of those things so we, we literally bought fields that were not in a clump together like I normally do. They're all chained all over the map, but we bought them specifically because um, we want to see, uh, or we want to get the best um, bonus that we can. And there were some fields that I wanted, um, like I think it was 16, is the one that had soybeans on it that was like just north of where we started. Um, I was gonna try to m make a loop and just drive this down there and then loop over and then hit the other side coming back but I'm still a little bit too far to do that so we'll do another couple passes and then we'll start making a loop um, on here I think this is probably my favorite field to be honest this 33 um, I like the big fields for harvesting reasons um, and I like the funny shaped fields but like 50, uh our first field, is it 15? Yeah, first field 15 with the L is kind of, it's interesting, but it is a little annoying with that dog leg. Um, this one is like a square, but it's at an angle. So instead of doing my 90, 270, I'm really doing like 260 and um, like one, well, I don't know, I guess let's see what the angle is here. At 260 and 80, give or take. So the angle is fun for me, uh, just because it's a little different and I have to try to figure it out every time. Um, so I just, I really like this little field with these angles. Let's see if we can loop it now. Is it too far? No, it's just about perfect. So now we can just run on a continual loop until we finish. So here I am on the 260 side, and then we'll just wrap up for the 70 side over there. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I like this little field and it's got a great yield bonus too. So I think it's going to be a, a nice field for us. Um, I don't know what got me talking about that, but, uh, anyway, yeah. Um, precision farming, I think is what I was talking about before that. So I mean, I like that we're doing precision farming, and we're going to see what uh, this this is. I think I'm just going to do one pass here. I know it's not quite wide enough. We're just going to split the difference. Um, because, again, this is just getting us an extra 2.5% yield bonus. Or, excuse me, 2.5% yield. That well, is bonus um, for doing what we're doing here. So if we happen to miss a little bit that's okay so yeah not the cleanest rolling ever but it's just fine we didn't hire a worker to do it we just got it done um because we had a little bit of time before the rain came so we're gonna run back home and we'll sleep until april i can't believe we made it 
through all the things that we did today in March without getting rained on. So good sign, I guess. Um, and then we'll get to planting whatever we can on um, field 34. So, I mean, I do have that little three meter planter. So we certainly can plant um, some else on 34 if we don't want to do sunflowers or canola but if we do the oil factory both sunflowers and canola actually can produce oil and our giant planter that we just bought um, can do all those things as well so it, it seems silly to me to plant at three meters wide when we know we can actually plant at uh 12 meters wide I think uh, so four times as fast um, and plant something that's helpful for us so I just don't see myself planting oats on it at three meters a time on what is now our largest field when I can certainly just do it 12 meters at a time so I guess I'm leaning towards sunflowers and we're just gonna see what happens with the rain and the harvest um, and it's okay if it rains in November because we'll harvest it most of it in October. And if that last field hangs on in November or we just run out of time, then that is fine. What are we going to do? But so I'm gonna cut in close to it, get those trees in the shot too terribly much. Of course, that's not a great shot either. And I don't want to drive on a crop. So we'll get this here parked here. So let me just hop out here. We're going to take a look at the sales, see if anything else has come up. Um, headers, slurry, liquids. I mean, that's a decent deal on that, but uh, we don't really need any liquid transported. So we'll go ahead and sleep here and see what happens in April. And get a drink of coffee because it is now the morning. Nope, nope, that's not the one. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I really do love when the canola fields turn yellow. I just really like what that looks like on. I don't know it's just a nice look and I, I don't know canola is one of my favorite crops not only because it's a bumper crop it does really well but it also because the looks of it it just looks really nice when it's ready to harvest all right so this roller you can't set it down unless it's unfolded so we'll unfold it like that Got to park there. Really need to open up this other door so I can make a full loop and not have to make such a tight corner there. Let me just This is uh yeah, this is the trailer we're using for milk over on Riverview. It's a nice thirty two thousand liter trailer, but overkill for what we're doing here, certainly. And here's a nice six meter header for the John Deere. Um, but we already bought the corn header. Ours is a five meter, so I guess it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Um, all right, let's take a look. So we have sunflower, 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 canola, canola, Growing, 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 growing. Seedbed. And where we just were with uh, needs rolling for those. So yeah, field 40 is where we're at. That's what we need to deal with. Let's take a look at our garage. So our planter here, um,
Um, sunflowers, soybeans. Ooh, we could do soybeans. Interesting. Soybeans would be different, and we have a harvester that we could use that for. When can we plant soybeans? Yeah, now that it's April, we could plant soybeans. It's still an October, November harvest, so we'd be fighting the harvest with the sunflowers. So that's really not that much of a bonus because we would have to harvest at the same time. We're already harvesting something, so we're still facing the same rain problem. But it would be an interesting different crop for us to get. That's um, good to know. And here's our harvester with our two headers, our crop header and our corn sunflower header. Um, yeah, what I was supposed to be checking was how much horsepower I need for that planter. So 180, pretty sure this medium tractor we're in is the McCormick. And that is, yeah, 264. That has plenty for that. Don't need to take out our giant tractor again. Um, this one does already have a weight on it. So we'll run over, look at our planter, make some decisions. Oh, that looks really nice. Now that those have popped up. Yeah, I guess we'll get to see um, the sunflowers on the other seeds that have popped up as well. And I don't think we're going to have too much trouble with weeds this year because I think we plowed a lot of our stuff, if I remember right. Um, I suppose we'll find out, but we do have that sprayer if we need to. All right. So this is our little second yard here. Um, yeah, that's looking really good. I'm glad we got that rolled yesterday. So we'll back up into here, grab this, still got 38% seeds and a lot of fertilizer. Is that fertilizer? Yeah, I think so. All right, so let's go ahead and since we're here, let's just put some more seeds in. Because this is a big field. And luckily this fertilizer spreader on the back is our counterweight, otherwise we'd have trouble lifting this high enough with this little uh, little tractor, but gotta open the lid. on the end there. Or is it maybe over here a little bit more? Nope. All right, well, I was gonna try to fill it that way, but that's just not working out. Oh, geez. 
I'm not treating my equipment very well. <laughs> Alright, we're going to drop this right here on the ground and we'll just fill it the way that you can't see me fill it. So if we just jump in here, we should be able to just start filling. Yep. I wonder if it was filling there for a second. So it we went all the way up to 89. I think we were filling from the back just being next to it. Um, and not actually even messing around with it. So we're probably going to need to refill one more time. But luckily we have this other bag of seeds that is laying down. Let's see real quick if we can stand that up again. I think once they fall over, maybe they just don't ever stand up. Now that I'm here, I just want to know. Great content right here. Just trying to get this. But we'll just go ahead and bring this out and uh, set it right here. And then we're just going to park this up again. Okay, well, we'll loop back around for that if we need it. I was going to bring it over to the other field for us, but. It's not that far, and clearly I can't fill it from the fork forks anyway very well, so we'll just come over here. And as much as I'd love to try soybeans, I just don't think we're going to do it. I just think that it's not necessary to try to do soybeans um, when we know we can do something with sunflowers and the if the harvest date went a month later or a month earlier I would totally do soybeans just to have the variability in, in the months that we're harvesting but since it's harvesting the exact same two months as sunflowers the sunflowers are going to be useful for us with our oil factory um, where the soybeans would just be something we'd put in our um, in our silo or cell so I just don't see the point in doing that it's not actually helping us that much so anyway we're set up to plant um we're actually at time though so i'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here and if you do want me to do soybeans versus sunflowers let me know in the comments below and i will uh wait a day or two before i record the next one and we'll see what you guys say and we'll go from there so thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in the next one take care Bye-bye.